on the Mississippi, just south of the city of St. Louis. Now this river is actually kind of an aquatic superhighway. More goods are moved through here than on any other road or rail system in the country. There's coal, there's oil, there's cement, there's corn. Just one barge can carry as much as 88 trucks. But this aquatic superhighway could soon come to a close. It could shut down completely because the water levels in the Mississippi are at a historic low because of last summer's terrible drought. This is a a national waterways that is a artery for commerce. George Foster has been working on the river for 48 years. He says the last time he saw the levels go so low was in 1988. If the Corps doesn't get on site and we don't get some water, the river will shut down. I'd say in two to three weeks. In Illinois and Missouri alone, there's over, uh, there's close to 10,000 jobs at risk. This is JB Marine Services. It's a barge, it's their headquarters. It should normally be floating along on the surface of the water, but now we've got half of it resting on the bank and the other half tipping into the Mississippi. I turned around to use my computer, I would roll to the window, so. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty twelve is the drought year that I tell my grandkids about. I hope this is the one. It doesn't get any worse than this. Could it be back to back? Odds are no, but anything's possible. This summer's drought left the McCormicks and other farmers with much less grain to sell. And now the grain that they do have left, they can't get it out because the river is beginning to shut down. You gotta figure out a different way to move it other than the river or, or something which it all ends up as a lower price to the farmer, so that's something we hate to see. Normally, we never have to worry about that. People who make their living from the river, like George Foster, say there's really only one option left. We're asking the president to clear this emergency declaration to give us water to continue to operate. It has a lot of political implications. Yes, it does. The urgency of the situation prompted Senator Claire McCaskill to write a letter. Governor Schweitzer has asked the White House to reject calls for water releases on the Missouri River. U.S. Senator Dick Durbin had asked for additional water flow from the Missouri River. They don't want to release it. I think we've got maybe a 50-50 chance. I'm afraid that that does have some negative effects for some other people yes, yes. We're, that are going to be losing that water. It's all about water. Everybody we've spoken to so far says that a shutdown of the Mississippi would be a disaster. Well, Bob Chris has a totally different take. Boats are simply too big for the rivers up here. Besides the ecosystem itself, there's other people with ideas on what we ought to do with water. Farmers and ranchers up there with livestock that don't have water to stay alive. So water is a precious commodity. It's, it's getting more and more precious in the world. More and more demand is on fresh water. What a dumb use to use it, at least vast quantities, just to float a boat that's too big a thousand miles away. I can't imagine anything more brain dead. Not only is it gonna affect farmers, but uh, the entire community. It's going to affect the consumer at the grocery store, at the gas pump. Yeah.